Within our last video, we learned that different devices on an industrial network communicate through specific structured messages defined by a protocol. Today, we'll learn about a special device that is used to translate or convert one protocol to another. This device is often called a protocol gateway or protocol converter. To help us understand the role that a protocol gateway plays in industrial automation, let's consider a common scenario. When outfitting a production line, an engineer may work with several different components, each selected such that they fulfill the requirements of the application, are compatible with other devices, and to minimize cost. However, it's not always possible to meet all three of these requirements. And because it may be difficult to find a single manufacturer that produces all of the necessary components, the engineer may also have to work with devices that don't share a common communication protocol. So, to ensure that data from each device can be processed and managed by a controller or by a supervisory device on the control network, the system will require a protocol gateway. A protocol gateway comes equipped with the hardware and software necessary to exchange data between several devices within a specific system. So how does this work? Well, relative to the master-slave architecture, a gateway may function as a master device, issuing requests to different components within a system. Upon request, data from one device will be received, converted, and then distributed to another device that communicates through a different protocol. Alternatively, a protocol gateway may also function as both a master and slave, in which a master device sends data to the gateway, this data is converted, and then distributed to another slave device that communicates through a different protocol. Although many protocol gateways are quite versatile, there are some that have been designed for specific applications, in which it is only necessary to convert between two distinct protocols. As an example, a Modbus gateway may be used to convert Modbus RTU to Modbus TCP IP, thereby allowing you to use an Ethernet interface within your application. For this conversion to occur, the Modbus RTU message is read by our Modbus gateway. The gateway then modifies the structure of this message and applies what is referred to as an MBAP header, which allows each message to be processed with a specific identifier, specifies the protocol used, the length of the following message, and a method to identify the Modbus slave. The modified message is then wrapped in a TCP, IP, and Ethernet header which allow it to be transferred over an Ethernet interface. And then the message can be delivered to a Modbus TCP IP server. Now that we understand just how important a protocol gateway can be within some automated systems, I'd like to mention that some companies, like WinTech, manufacture other devices that can perform some of the same functions as a traditional protocol gateway, while also filling another important role within a system. Are you interested in HMI programming? Check out our website, wintechusa.com, for free development software, and then head on over to our YouTube channel for free technical tutorials. Thank you for watching.